one of the most beloved video game series. Let's just forget about the second half of the franchise. The Borderlands series, known for being deliberately peacocking compared to other cookie cutter competition. Set in a post-apocalyptic world, first person shooter gameplay, mix of science fiction and humor. And looting. More looting, and don't forget about the looting. So the question today is what if Borderlands had an anime? There actually is a manga anime series that meets the matching criteria of Borderlands, sharing many familiar characteristics between both IPs. So further ado, you won't find a better match. Borderlands is Doro Hedero. Starting with the visuals, Borderlands iconic Psycho Mask, with many other characters wearing masks as well. Dory Dora's entire aesthetic is each person having a very unique mask. Shin, heart mask that he always wears backwards accidentally. Kaiman, gas mask, more so to cover his lizard head. Ibetsu with the coolest mask, which is a skull, unfortunately is on the head of a little girl and not a menacing monster Jojo physique of a man. The art style of Borderlands is world famous. Heavy strokes, outlines creating a sort of 3D effect popping out the screen, somehow at the same time keeping it extremely simple while maintaining a gritty, dirty world. Clarity recognizable between the focal point, if that is characters or items from the background. And that is exactly how I would explain Dora Hedero as well. Gritty and dirty with the ability that you can see and understand what is all going on. Which was an extreme fiasco early days of the Berserk manga. The anime of Dora Hedero is CGI. Doesn't look terrible, it 100% hinders the glory that this series deserves. Range of characters, huge variety in both, no character looks the same, you can differentiate between them with ease. The worst thing that happens when watching an anime, most likely schoolgirls for some reason, is when you mistake them and only realize it after 8 episodes. Oh, that those are two separate people entirely. Like really? Come on, that is why they invented strange hair colors for anime characters. Most used term to describe both series is crazy chaos, which they make it their duty to remind you at the end of every episode of the anime. The narrator lists two or three points of what we learned this episode and always leaves us with the lines, everything is still lost in chaos. And that is Doro Hidoro. So both prioritize chaos, craziness, but somehow delivering it perfectly with a side dish of humor. Crazy comedy, not the typical tee hee. No, grown up, more mature. For example, a villain appears, gloomy atmosphere, long monologue. Man is ready for world domination. Cue the boss fight music, and it turns out he is as weak as my world to love. We are not going to mention the fairy moment in Dora Hidoro. Nobody has a clue what we have witnessed. Perhaps it was Q Hayashida's only joke that flopped over the course of 23 volumes. So the less talked about that, the better. Characters is one of the most important vital part of any media. Characters is the pumping heart portraying the links of themes and life lessons. Both series characters love violence and action. Borderlands is when you dump all your bullets into an enemy and when the gun is empty, Reach for a new weapon or simply wait 2 seconds because sweet sweet loot and ammo is always around the corner. Dory Dora's characters are not stingy at all when an opportunity arises to use their unique abilities, such as N which utilizes his mushroom creation magic, making him a world renowned business tycoon. Like come on, that sounds straight out of Borderlands lore. As well as noise healing which we witness many, many, many times, letting the clan escape dodgy situations. The desire for violence and action is not the only big link between them. The number one similarity is the characters are fun and memorable. They are not afraid of belittling, put that in quotation marks, they are not afraid of belittling the characters to utilize for a second of comedy. A frightening figure is not safe from being used for a little gaff. Most notably, Chidoruma in Dori Hedero, which is either number one or two of being a menace to society. In terms of screen time, is poked at the most with the joke stick. But don't get me wrong, the comedy does not diminish the character's aura. The Borderlands equivalent is probably Handsome Jack. I know in 10, 15, 20 years from now, most of the characters you will still remember. 
because they are different and unique. Most anime you can boil down to main protagonist is a crybaby that needs to gain confidence, isekai and wants a group of women to adore him from head to toe etc etc. Anti-hero protagonists. The Vault Hunters are often motivated by personal gain and are willing to commit morally ambiguous acts. Kaiman, though with a strong sense of justice, is far from traditional hero material. He's also prone to brutal violence, especially at the beginning, disposing of people that provide no help to his end goal. World setting, Pandora and the world of Dora Hidoro. Post-apocalyptic, 24-7, on edge. Like the old west. Everybody's struggling. Who can you trust? People pop out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it is a classic old western one-on-one. -on -one. Political and social commentary both spearhead towards revolving around the series. Social hierarchy, class struggle, and the power dynamics. Dora Hedro with showing contrast between sorcerers and non-magic users. Plus all the murky overlap of justification behind actions and opinions. The community that adore Borderlands has surely taken a hit over the years and are in desperate need to revitalize the franchise. If that comes in the form of a much awaited new video game that is adored once again by gamers or an anime adaptation of the level of Arcane's League of Legends. Borderlands is in rocky waters. Now for Dora Hedro, the community always feels a bit indie, a bit small. Netflix anime adaptation is well received with season 2 on infinite hiatus. The director busy finishing up with Attack on Titan. Manga garnering a huge fan base, 42,000 Reddit members showcasing cosplay and tattoos from the series. If they manage a visually better season 2 and onwards, don't be surprised if Dora Hedero becomes a top 10 piece of anime manga media. In a world filled with chaos and unpredictability, Dora Hedero and Borderlands bring us a dose of post-apocalyptic madness, dark humor, and unforgettable characters. Whether you are diving into the gritty streets of The Hole or exploring the wastelands of Pandora, both offer a unique blend of violence, humor, and vibrant personalities. The upcoming live-action Borderlands series, estimated for 2024, my expectations are very low, like everybody else. Borderlands can 100% work on an anime re-edition, but just seeing real life people act super over the top, which is Borderlands characters, is just going to be cringe. Reminder of Cowboy Bebop's Edward. Jared Leto version of the Joker? Now imagine that for the majority of characters. All the cards are stacked against them. Of course, I hope it is a success, but... It ain't gonna be. Dora Hedero, experiencing firsthand the anime, still without a second season, the anime even garnering the much hated use of CGI, it still works. Based on the storytelling, world setting and characters, which is familiar to the Borderlands structure. That is my take on if Borderlands had an anime.